Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my drive-by. I'm on uh, Gardner Street in Port Charlotte. Uh, I'm going through here. I just finished the service call. Uh, boy, Florida is beautiful. It's 90 degrees. Uh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, September 30th, 2015. If it seems like I'm preoccupied, I am. I'm thinking about something while I'm doing this. And uh, I hope everybody's healthy, wealthy, and wise. Um, and you know, I very seldom, you know, say this, but I wanna, I wanna go and say to everybody, thanks to all my subscribers out there that uh, you know subscribe, watch my videos, make comments. I'm trying to build my channel. Uh, if you have any ideas on how I could build it, I try to give you the really good content, you know, content in this, uh, especially some of my gun videos. You know, I've got. I've got $10,000 guns that I review, and I'm sure, you know, most of the people have not seen those. And I get them for you guys and do the review for you guys because, you know, I mean, what is a gun? I'm going to get it, buy it, do a review, and put it in the safe. I never really fire them that much. I do fire them when I have time, but mainly I buy my guns and do my reviews for you guys. And I try to give you content that would find interesting, uh, yet not stupid. Uh, but it seems like maybe I should get some stupid com uh, content out there to liven up the channel a little. But if you have any, uh, you know, suggestions, let me know. So anyway, without ado, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, when, when I do my drive-bys, I just discuss things that I would be thinking about as a regular person. You know, be, be driving and on my way to work or something, and I think of a subject, I, I just bring it up and I start talking about it. Uh, you know, m most of these are my opinions, a lot of it's facts. Uh, things that I've observed throughout my life. You know, I'm 60 years old. I've been around the, been around the, uh, in the merry-go-round a few times, and uh, I wanted to bring up uh, a subject on guns, and I want to bring up guns. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's a worthwhile having a lot of them. I mean, purposeful or whatever. And I have to bring this up. I mean, there's some people got 10 safes. I mean, I know one guy. Uh, literally has uh, a safe which is motorized in the back of his office. I mean, it holds probably a few thousand guns. I mean, he presses a button and it's got like bookshelves that fold out. I mean, he's got a lot of guns. I would say it goes along with being like Charleston Heston fan. That many guns. He's got just thousands of guns, okay? And, you know, I won't even put a price probably hundreds of thousands of dollars in guns and um, you know does he shoot them no he mainly buys them and collects them he's got probably one of every uh, I know of the arsenal firearms that they uh, make he's got one of every the first guns they made like serial number 001 and uh, different colors and everything so he's got a lot of guns and he's got Colts and Sigs and everything but it brings back to the subject uh, how many guns are too many how many guns are enough? So that's, you know, the, the subject of this uh, drive-by. Uh, you know, I had a lot of guns at one time. Quite a few. I mean, all they really did was set, sat in the safe. And I looked at it, you know, I'm not a big target shooter or I don't shoot competition or something like that. I don't do that. So the amount of guns that I need are limited. So I, I, would, I would go and say, Maybe once a week I will go out and shoot. And having all those guns, I had to have ammunition for every one of them. And then when you shoot them, you gotta clean them all the time. And you always see something better that you like. So like say you have, if you have the, you have the best gun there's me, like I would have to say the Prismatic Dueler right now in my liner, my lineup. And then you see a, a beautiful SIG and you're gonna wanna buy it. Or you, you see the new uh, polymer, gun coming out, that 1911, you're going to want to buy it just to have it because it's kind of neat. So you always see something else and something better. So uh, there was a few people out there talking, saying, you know, why buy one high-end gun when you can have like, you know, five semi-high guns with like, not low quality, but mid quality, and you have more guns. And they're absolutely right. You know, uh, if you have a $4,000 gun, you have that one $4,000 gun. But if you had $4,000, you could probably buy, Jesus, uh, eight 
low-end guns, or you could buy four high-end guns and really have four nice guns, you know, or just buy one or two and put the rest of the money away. So, you know, and I can understand that. I can understand that uh, totally now. Before, I never really thought of it that way. But uh, also, there's a lot of people that, you know, just maybe are collectors. So they'll just, and, and, and what, I mean, I like, I like reviews. I mean, the meat of the reviews I like when I'm doing a review or when, or when I want to watch a review, I like to see a review. If somebody's reviewing a gun, I like them to take the gun apart, okay? You know, I like to see them, oh, isn't that a nice Silverado over there? That's a nice truck. I've been two trucks for a long time. What kind of rims he's got in there? That's a nice looking truck, isn't it? That's nice. Blacked out windows, nice Silverado. A little bit of money, but it's a nice truck. Got a trailer hitch on it. Let me angle this a little bit better here so you get a better view. So you're not looking at all the traffic. But anyway, so, you know, uh, having multiple guns would be cool. But having too many would be ridiculous. But, of course, that's up to the end, you know, up to you guys. Uh, you can't shoot them all. And then when you end up dying, you can't take them with you either. So, uh, myself, I would rather have a few selected really nice high-end guns than a shitload of them. But if you're somebody that doesn't want to get a high-end gun, yeah, you could buy four or five guns for the price of one high-end gun. Uh, you know, I'm right now trying to thin down the herd a little, and I'm going to probably keep my uh, prismatic dueler because I really like it. That's like an unusual gun. But I might sell my Nighthawk. If I sell my Nighthawk with that, I'm going to put some of the money aside, and I'm going to buy, like, uh, you know, I've always liked the uh, Smith & Wesson Performance Center ones. And if they have an all stainless steel one, with the uh, lightning cuts on it, I think that's a really good looking gun. I wouldn't mind buying that. I mean, that would be a nice one that I would add. But uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. Then I have my prismatic dollar and I have that one. You know, um, I, I just like the way that one looks. I could even buy two or three of them for the price that I could sell it. But as long as I can get, I gotta get a minimum, a certain amount of money out of it. And if I don't get money out of it, it's just gonna sit and I'm just gonna keep trying it. Don't be the right person that comes to them. They'll spend the money. I was the right person that bought it, so there's another right person out there with buy it that has the money uh, that doesn't want to grapple with me. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to bring that up, and that's just, you know, how many guns is enough? You know, I, I'd like to know. I mean, what do you think? Uh, you know, what's ideal? Should you have, uh, uh, you know, like maybe two, hand, two pistols, two revolvers, and two rifles? You know, should you have, you know, I mean, what is the answer? I know Cabola Snake's coming out uh, probably now in October. They said September, so I guess it's been delayed. And uh, I'm hearing that the price is going to be under $2,000 for that gun. And, uh, boy, if it's under two grand, I wouldn't mind buying one of those. Because then I would have a prismatic dueler that shoots two bullets. And I have the Cabola Snake, which is a dual barrel, that shoots two bullets. And uh, those would be two nice collectible guns, and uh, I don't think you'd need anything else if you had those. And I've contacted the company early enough, I might be able to get a really low serial number. Because I already contacted, I said, you get the first one made, you let me know. So, uh, but, uh, I mean, we'll see what happens, you know, uh, when they get back to me and when that gun is made. But, uh, yeah, thanks, and let, let me know what you think. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning, but unfortunately, you're not going to see much here because this is, I'm in some kind of traffic, must be lunch traffic. Uh, uh, this, this looks pretty bad as far as traffic, but uh, thanks a lot and have a great day, and thanks for tuning in.